The humanoid robot race is heating up, and I recently stumbled upon a captivating new contender in the form of the Kiot robot by Kepler Robotics. This robot is shaping up to be a significant competitor to Tesla's bot. Let's delve into what makes the Kiot robot so impressive. Firstly, let's dissect the intriguing demo of the Kepler bot. It offers a glimpse into the capabilities and potential of this humanoid creation. Now, let's analyze why this robot stands out and what sets it apart from others in its class. The Kepler bot presents an intriguing aspect with its three distinct versions. Firstly, there's the Kepler SI or S1, designed for outdoor tasks, showcasing its versatility in various environments. Then there's the Kepler D1, tailored for hazardous environmental conditions indicating its specialized capabilities for dealing with toxic and dangerous settings. This specialization suggests a robust and armored design to handle such scenarios effectively. It's fascinating to observe Kepler Robotics' approach, considering that most humanoid robots, aside from Boston Dynamics endeavors, typically focus on general purpose tasks rather than hazardous environments. The only notable exception being Boston Dynamics' dog-like robot designed for such conditions. This strategic angle by Kepler Robotics really shows a significant advancement in humanoid robot capabilities. The video revealed some astonishing details about the Kepler bot, particularly its AI-embedded humanoid design featuring a bionic body structure and bipedo walking capability. Achieving bipedo walking in robotics is a challenging feat as it requires intricate engineering and advanced AI algorithms. It's noteworthy that only a few companies have managed to accomplish this, highlighting the complexity of the task and the technological prowess required. While the robot's movement might not initially strike as exceptionally smooth upon closer inspection, it appears quite decent. The video breaks down various aspects of the robot, including its hands, which are designed to behave and perceive like human hands. With a patented design boasting 12 degrees of freedom, these hands exhibit exceptional dexterity and precision, capable of precise force sensing for various tasks. During the demo, the robot successfully demonstrated its ability to pick up items, showcasing its hand dexterity. However, it's unclear whether the actions were teleoperated or autonomous, a distinction crucial in understanding the robot's capabilities fully. Nevertheless, the agility of the robot was highlighted in a brief demonstration where it successfully threw a ball into a cup. While the extent of practice or pre-recording involved in this demonstration remains uncertain, it nonetheless showcases an impressive aspect of the robot's capabilities. Let's delve into some more fascinating details about the Kepler bot from their website. They tout a self-developed nebula system, seamlessly paired with a high computing motherboard boasting 100 tops. This system facilitates visual slam capabilities, enabling 3D modeling and visual recognition for profound perception of the surrounding environment. 
Through intelligently linking various sensors, it seamlessly integrates with the world around it. Inside its head, the Kepler bot features a camera for vision, a microphone for auditory perception, and sensors for detecting pull pressure, speed, and heart rate. This comprehensive array of sensors equips the robot with advanced perception capabilities, enhancing its interaction with its surroundings. One particularly intriguing aspect is that the Kepler bot made an appearance at CES, indicating its prominence and recognition within the robotics industry. At the CES event, Kepler Robotics caught the eye of Satya Nadella, a big name in the tech world. This shows that Kepler is making waves in the tech and robotics industry. Even though there aren't many videos yet, what we've seen so far is pretty impressive. It's clear that Kepler Robotics is serious about innovation and production, and they're likely to have a big impact in the future. One of the craziest things I've heard about the Kepler bot is its rumored price tag, potentially starting at $20,000 to $30,000. This is significant because cost has been a major barrier for humanoid robots and robotics in general. Typically, they've been too expensive for mass production and consumer markets. However, with Kepler Robotics based in Shanghai, they may have a competitive advantage in reducing production costs and scaling up production due to economies of scale. Lowering the price of humanoid robots could be a game changer. If they become more affordable, it could revolutionize various industries. Currently, robots priced at $250,000 are as expensive as some luxury cars, making them inaccessible to the average person. But if prices continue to drop, it could open up new possibilities across different sectors. The Kepler bot boasts powerful motion planning and control algorithms that enable precise navigation and task execution. What's particularly impressive is its autonomous capability, as indicated on their website. While some demos may combine teleoperation with autonomy, the autonomy demonstrated so far is noteworthy. The robot's ability to comprehend the world and engage in seamless multimodal interaction, including language and vision, hints at its potential for conversational interaction. Recent advancements in technology have shown real-time language processing to be feasible, suggesting that the Kepler bot might offer this feature in the future. Additionally, precise coordination is a key feature facilitated by integrating visual perception and force sensing. This enables real-time responsiveness, crucial for interacting with moving objects and elements. Real-time processing is a significant challenge in robotics, requiring quick and accurate responses within milliseconds. Kepler Robotics' claim of building their system from the ground up suggests they may have developed proprietary solutions to address this challenge effectively. So, they're innovating with patented designs to set themselves apart. Their focus on enhancing vision is particularly intriguing. With real-time recognition capabilities for surrounding objects, faces and movements, the Kepler bot can precisely detect and recognize targets, an advanced feature that surpasses current standards in the field. The Kepler bot is equipped with Visual Slam, allowing it to proficiently achieve tasks like 3D modeling and constructing maps in unfamiliar environments. It autonomously determines its position and movement, indicating a high level of autonomy in its operations. This level of autonomy suggests that teleoperation may not be a significant component of its functionality, as it's not mentioned on their website. The rapid progress of companies like Kepler Robotics, particularly coming out of China, highlights the fast-paced nature of the robotics industry. It's exciting to see how quickly they've developed advanced technologies like the Kepler bot, indicating a rapidly evolving landscape where AI merges with the physical world. While the current demo showcases impressive achievements, such as balancing on one leg without cracking an egg, there's room for improvement, particularly in terms of speed and agility. More information on the extent of autonomy in tasks like walking would be beneficial for understanding the capabilities of the robot fully.
However, it's understandable that companies may withhold certain details to maintain a competitive edge. The Kepler Robotics website offers a glimpse into the versatility and potential applications of the Kepler bot. From smart inspections to automated production lines, it appears the robot is designed for a range of industrial tasks, including outdoor and high-risk operations. What's interesting is the approach taken to address different industry needs. Rather than offering separate robots for each application, Kepler Robotics seems to have designed a single versatile platform, the Kepler K1, with minor variations tailored to specific tasks. This approach allows for flexibility while maintaining a cohesive design aesthetic. While some may draw comparisons between the Kepler bot and the Tesla bot, it's worth noting that many humanoid robots share similar design elements. With their sleek white bodies and black heads, humanoid robots often have a uniform appearance. Nonetheless, it's fascinating to see how Kepler Robotics has crafted a robot that balances functionality with a distinct visual identity. The potential production timeline for the Kepler robots, estimated to be in Q3 of 2024 according to online interviews, is certainly promising. However, as with any robotics project, there may be delays due to various factors such as material sourcing and quality control. If these robots do enter mass production and become widely available by that time, it would be fascinating to observe their real-world interactions beyond just demos and videos. The dynamic sensing technology highlighted on their website, allowing the Kepler bot to sense changes in its environment and make timely adjustments, demonstrates a level of adaptability that could prove valuable in various scenarios. As for how the Kepler robots will fare in the broader robotics landscape, it's an exciting prospect. Their versatility and advanced features position them as potential challenges to other humanoid robots, including those developed by Tesla. This could indeed intensify the competition in the robotics industry and drive further innovation. Ultimately, whether the Kepler robots emerge as front runners or face stiff competition depends on various factors including their performance, reliability, and market adoption. It's too early to determine their standing definitively, but they certainly have the potential to make a significant impact and compete for the title of the best humanoid robot. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this. Do you see a future in which you have a use from a robot like this? Or do you think that all this work can be directed into something more useful? As always, leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts and make sure you check out the video on the screen right now to learn something new. I'll be waiting there. See you.